Hello, in this video I will show you how to install Python 3 with NumPy, SciPy and Matplotlib on your macOS Big Sur. While I'll record the video on an M1 Apple silicon machine, a similar procedure should work on Intel-based Macs. This tutorial assumes that you have the command line tools installed on your system. If this is not the case, check the video description for a link to a previous video in which I show how to install the command line tools. Open your browser and go to the python.org website. At the time of this recording, the latest stable version of Python is 3.9, which supports both Intel and ARM-based Macs. Choose View the full list of downloads and go to the version 3.9 download page. Scroll down until you see the file section and from here, download the macOS 64-bit universal installer. This version should work on both Intel and ARM Mac versions. Software evolves and things that worked at the time of this recording may not work in a few months or in a few years. Please check the video description for updates and corrections. Once the download is finished, start the installer and accept the defaults. Double click on Install Certificates command and the script will install the required Python certificates. Once this is done, close the terminal window. Now that the installation is finished, press the close button. Optionally, you can eject and erase the installer. At the time of this recording, the official NumPy package doesn't work natively on Apple Silicon. As a temporary workaround, we will use the Intel x64 version. Easiest approach is to switch the terminal in Intel x64 mode. If you know that your machine is Intel based, you can skip this step. Open a terminal and check which architecture is the default on your machine with the next instruction. Uname-M if you see ARM64, you need to switch to x86-64. This can be done with the next command. Use the uname-m command again to see if your terminal is in x86-64 Intel mode now. This switch is temporary. Once you close the terminal, it will revert to the default mode. If you open a new tab, this will be in the default mode also. Please note that it is also possible to apply the above switch permanently by opening the Applications folder, finding the Terminal app, right-clicking on this and selecting Rosetta 2. From now on, everything will work the same, no matter if your machine is an Intel or an ARM-based Mac. Next, write Python and press the Tab key. This will show you the available completions. As you can see, we have multiple versions of the Python command available. What you will want to use is the latest 3.9.1. Let's try it. Write Python 3.9 and press Enter. This will start the latest installed Python 3 interpreter. You can leave the interpreter by writing Quit. Next, let's follow best practices and create a new Python environment in which we can install NumPy, SciPy and Matplotlib. Write Python 3.9-m vmv work. Once the environment is created, we need to activate it in order to be able to use it. For activating the environment, use source work slash bin slash activate. Please note that the shell prompt has changed and it indicates that we are in the work environment. By default, if you close your terminal, the environment is deactivated. If you want to be able to use it again, repeat the above activation command. Next, we are going to upgrade the pip module to the latest version available. Please note that this upgrade will be applied only in the current environment. For this write python dash m pip install double dash upgrade pip. Once the upgrade is done, we can use the pip command to install NumPy. Please keep in mind that everything is installed in the active environment and it will be available only if the work environment is activated. We'll use the same procedure to install SciPy and Matplotlib. Ok, we are done with the installation. Let's fire up the Python interpreter and do some tests. As you've probably noticed, when you are inside an environment, you can simply use the Python command. You don't have to write Python 3.9. Next, let's check if everything was properly installed by importing the NumPy, SciPy and matplotlib.pylab modules. Optionally, you can check the versions of the imported libraries. For example, we can check the NumPy version with np dot version dot version. Now let's define a 3 by 3 square matrix and do some operations.
we can store the matrix transpose in a variable for future processing. Say that you want to try matrix multiplication now. As expected, multiplying a matrix with its transpose will yield a symmetrical matrix. Next, let's check matplotlib by plotting some function graphics. We'll start by creating some points t on the 0 to 1 interval. Next, we'll plot the t and the t squared pairs of points. In order to show the graphic, use the plt.show function. There is also an interactive graphic mode activated with the plt.ion function. Let's see how it works. When the interactive mode is on, any plot command is displayed immediately. No need to use the .show function. Watch what happens when I add a title to the plot. If we plot a second function, it will be displayed on the same graphic. We can deactivate the interactive mode by calling the plt.io function. If you want, you can save the plotted function as a PNG image for later use. Thanks for watching and please like, share and subscribe. If you are interested in other programming subjects, please let me know in the comments.